you're on ice episode 9, <coughs> audio only reaction, which is my voice and only the subtitles of the episode, because I have three copyright strikes and I do not want to get my third, I really, really don't. That being said, I hope you keep watching this, because I need it. <laughs> so, just a recap of the last episode, Maka-chan ate the damn steam buns, which were on top of the grave of, not the grave, but the, uh, the shrine of Vichan, who was a uh, Yuri's dog, and then here comes Victor with the a pretty much giga version of Vichan. Basically, a giant brown poodle. And hopefully Makachin survives. I really hope he does. Because if there is at least one death somehow in this show, it's going to be groundbreaking. Because <laughs> we know none of the actual human characters are dying. We know that for a fact. Unless they die to s because of so much eros and sexuality going on. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Hashtag pray for Makachin. Hopefully he doesn't die. I, re I really like the dog, he's super cool. Okay, so Yuri is going to have to be under the eye of Yakov, which, which I hope they can coexist. Strongening off the episode with a hug. Oh yeah, because victory is... There isn't going to be much victory in this episode, because... Yuri is in... Or, not Yuri, but... Victor's going back to Japan to look after his dog. Leaving Yuri to... Go under frickin' Yakov. About time his grandfather showed up. Uh, the Katadon Pro Porosky. Katadon Porosky. It's a weird combination of words. Okay. Oh, look at Uriel's braid. It's about time he's he's got a braid. Okay, here's the, the Czech Republic guy. He got his frickin... He got his performance... Uh... Canned in the last episode, so he didn't actually perform. But in this episode, he can spec, he can actually perform. The song is like a... What you call it? It's a. It's like a. Dance, EDM music. It it sounds like game music. <clears throat> if, if I stay quiet, it's because I have nothing to say. And why is this dude so <coughs> Oh wait, is Sal supposed to be with this dude? Okay, she does. I'm surprised this guy hasn't messed up yet. Like, everyone's messed up at least once. Ah, oh, there you go. Jinxed him. Hmm. Oh, that's 
a good pose. Oh, so that's the score in total. 271. Oh, right, Georgie doesn't get to skate. Okay, so here's... I'm gonna call him Michael because I'm stupid. Serenade for two. Bruh, just let her go. I mean, they're siblings. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna point this out. The dude who sings pretty much like every other song is doing all of these songs. He did freaking. He did Intoxicated, King JJ, Serenade for Two. Hmm. Any song that has words in it. Besides, On Love, Agape. Wow, so the funny thing is, I like Georgie without all that freaking makeup shit. He looks normal, but fucking... <laughs> Damn! kind of asshole pulls on her freaking hair? So he's the overprotective type. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, this is a it's a it's a field trip right now. It's a field trap. It's supposed to make you sad. But luckily for them, I'm a sick guy. Which means I don't get sad. At least to the point where I don't cry. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Sung Lee! Get it, Korean! Show him what you get. Well, he got higher than freaking the other dude. That was pretty good. I liked it. Wow! Oh, he's not a fucking flamingo? Or a parakeet, whatever. Oh my god, Yuri's gonna skate with a freaking braid! Is that a muffin? Okay, I'm terribly wrong. Oh, yeah, the Sun Gilly got third. Oh, he's crying. Those are angry tears. Okay, Yurio has a home field advantage. Oh, it's his second song. It's not Agape, it's something else. Leg up. Okay, <laughs> No way I could pronounce that right off the bat. It's so much faster than Agape. Ooh. Oh, oh wow! <laughs> That looked cool. He had his leg like in a 
for, I don't know how to call it, 75 degree angle. And he spun around with it. You know, I'm mesmerized by Uriel's performance right now. <laughs> I I can't talk while he's doing this. It's so cool. Whoa, that big stretch. He sat like that even before freaking <laughs> Yeah, get that shit, Yuri. Damn. Another two. Mm. Wow. This is the best performance Yurio's had in the show. Probably because he messed up in all the other ones. Yeah! Home field advantage! Uh, 297! He's, he's in first place! Okay. Oh, okay, this is the Uran Ice. Theme song. Oh no. Oh, no. Those are tears. He's gonna cry. It's named after the show. You can't mess with stuff, Yuri. I always feel weird, like, listening to the song and watching the performance. Ooh, it gets way better. From the first episode. The power of love and arrows. Oh, that means JJ is going to get a song too. Ooh. 
I'm so, I hate how how quiet I am because I'm so busy looking at like watching this. Like, I'm covering my face with my fucking hands. Mmm, that's some good shit. Oh, fuck off, JJ. <laughs> Oh, did did I mess up his score? Yeah, Yuri, and this is our victor. Would have been all like Yuri, amazing, and just pass out on the ice because. Well earned, you deserve it. Oh, please fucking get like somewhere on 200. 292! He's in second place! He's right beneath uh, Yuria. Oh, or third. Oh, my numbers are wrong. My bad. <laughs> yeah, John Jacques Leroy, the best bishy. <laughs> Let's go, Mr. Canadian. Partisan hope. Yeah, he had home field advantage, for fuck's sake. If you're winning in Russia, and you're from Russia, you're winning. If you're from Canada, and you're playing in Canada, you're winning. America, that's a whole different story. But... That's really cool. He just keeps gliding on the ice. I knew those were his parents. You know, doesn't John Jacques Leroy have the most experience out of this? I mean, he looks the oldest out of everyone. Oh, <laughs> They do? As long as he doesn't go, it's JJ style. It's gonna be good. We're fine.
you're admitted to the qualifying of the Grand Prix Final. Uh, oh, he's hugging everyone because Victor told him to. He's going after Uriel. <laughs> so he's basically a hug monster. Because Victor told him to hug something. And he's pretty much hugging everything. Oh, who the fuck? Oh, it's Yurio. I was about to say, is that some stranger? Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. Didn't they... I knew Tumblr blew the fuck up on the UAE on Ice Day because it was Ikatsuki's birthday, but fucking shit. Look inside the... Look how happy they look! What? <laughs> I haven't seen Yuri was that fucking happy. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, Makachin survived! Woo! They're gonna hug in the middle of the airport. Oh, they're gonna meet at the ends! Oh, yay! Okay, here's, here's the victory scene. Something's gonna happen, I'm not sure what. Okay. Okay. Oh! Do it! Say yes! Okay, I thought they were... <laughs> I thought they were gonna get closer. So, this is pretty much a proposal! They're married! With... Fucking Uriel being their child. What the... Tenth episode, got a supercharger. Great pre-Grand Prix Final Special. Okay, from th that preview, I can guess the skaters get time off, considering, you know, Christmas is right around the corner. That's gonna happen. So, all in all, in this episode, I can summarize... It was JJ, Yurio, Michael, Yuri. All advanced to the pre Grand Prix final along with Christoph, Christopher, Pichit, some other dude, I don't remember his name. Actually, I need a look so, so I don't get bashed on. Freaking. What the f okay. So it's okay then. So you're a advan or Yuri advances. Vakachin's still alive. The prayers worked. Uh <laughs> And that's about it. Wow. So pretty much I can, the only big thing I can summarize out of this is, uh, Yuri's, Yuri, fuck, I keep talking, I keep saying Yuri, Yuri, okay, fuck, Yuri is advancing, Makachin's still alive, 
Victor is supposed to be Yuri's coach until he retires, of which Victor replies, I hope you'll never retire. Uh. So they're pretty much married, but not married at the same time, if that makes any sense. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, on to the next because my software is about to crash. <laughs> yeah.